welcome back to Today We Review. This is going to be filled with spoilers, so just be aware of that. And now that we're back with Today We Review, I want to use a new rating system today. So we're going to use Keep or Delete. Keeping it, I watch my videos on the computer, so I'll keep the file. Or if I don't want to watch the movie again, it's going to get deleted. So Keep or Delete. The first one that we did today was Misery, 1990 film. The movie is rated R. On IMDb it has a 7.8. This movie is based on the novel of the same name by Stephen King. I haven't read that one, but if it is true to the book, then the book is going to be great, and I am going to read it. I am a huge Stephen King fan. It's directed by Rob Reiner. The cast is James Cann as the author Paul Sheldon who gets rescued when he has a car accident. He's going home from accomplishing his most recent novel when he a snowstorm and then he has a car crash. Kathy Bates plays Annie Wilkes. He rescued Paul Sheldon from the car crash and then it's his actual biggest fan. She was actually stalking him, following him back home from the uh, resort that he had been at. It also has Richard Farnsworth as Buster he is the uh, policeman who helps investigate and eventually locates Paul but is shot. Buster's wife, the deputy, is Virgin is named Virginia. She's played by Franz Dernhagen. Virginia and Buster are pretty much, uh, they might not have meant to be, but I find that they're very good at, at being the comedic relief. And it still fits in the movie, but it's very funny and witty. And then there's Marcia Sindel, played by Lauren Bacall. She is... Paul Sheldon's literary agent and is the one that kind of starts off the investigation trying to locate Paul. And the last cast member, Misery the Pig, played by herself. The movie does have very good character development. Paul Sheldon, we get a fully developed view of him. He has been writing the Misery stories because the first one hit and then continued writing them for the money, but he doesn't really want to be writing them. He is wanting to get on with his life and that's why Misery was killed off in his last book, and he has this new unpublished work that he just finished. Throughout this, we do see that Sheldon is good at thinking ahead. He hides the pill, and then rather than putting it just between the beds, he actually takes his fork and rips a little bit into the mattress to hide the pills. Later, we find that the knife is hidden under the bed, too. If the two actors didn't bring their A-game, the movie definitely could have fallen apart but Kathy Bates is great and it doesn't take long for her to go a little mental 15 minutes in it shows her snapping because she's read the profanity in Sheldon's new work the movie succeeds in many aspects uh, there's good suspense building it's not really a horror uh, movie it's more of a psychological kind of movie where there is a lot of build up and then quite a good payoff uh, there's times when Sheldon sees the helicopter that's flying over so he knows that they're trying to rescue him before that, there was when Buster was looking out for the car. He was so close to finding the actual car until he fell in the snow, and then his uh, deputy wife made a joke, so then he turned around and came back up rather than investigating just a little further. He was feet from the car. After Annie forces Sheldon to burn his just-finished book because she knows that there's no other copies and she hates that it has profanity, he stops taking the pills. He is able to then be more alert and it helps to build the suspense. We also know by this point that she doesn't react well to him not following her orders, so if she finds out about the pills, everything's going to hell. On building suspense, when Sheldon escapes from his room and tries to use the phone, it shows that Annie has taken apart the phone from the inside but left the outside so it looks like it's real, it says that crazy bitch. Then he's wheeling through the place it looks like she still has all the pictures from her husband that she said divorced or left her. And then he finds the misery collection that she has where there's a signed picture of him. It's good to add to the atmosphere of the crazy girlfriend, crazy obsessed fan persona that we have for Annie. And it's definitely a keep. This movie is a classic, I'd say. It's a great movie. Kathy Bates' performance is great. James Can performance is great. I can't really think of anything uh, con in this movie. Thank you for watching the fifth Today We Review, Misery is Being Kept. I hope you liked it. If so, hit the like, subscribe, uh, comment below, or get at me on Twitter. 
Mad L fan, or you can use hashtag today we review. Look soon for the posting of Source Fed Movie Club Lovelace. Thanks for watching. That is some tough love. You want it? You want it? Eat it! Eat it to yourself, you sick, twisted fuck! Oh, it likes me. Ding. That was like a tuning fork high pitch. Ting.